type the type of guys I like. Okay, so honestly, <laughs> I play the guitar. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is one of my guitars. So I'm probably going to play for you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've already subscribed. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Nanaya. Thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I know you don't want to miss any of my videos. If you are new here, welcome to the family. And if you aren't new, thank you so, so much for coming back. I'm beyond grateful. Yeah, so today, as you can see from the title, it's going to be 25 facts about more. 25 facts about me. Funny enough, there are a lot of things that you guys do not know about me. I did a Q&A and I said a lot of things. If you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. It's my first video. So just click on my profile and all the deeds are there. All the gist is there. A lot of things that you guys do not know about me. I know I'm talking too much. Let's just get right into the video. So I have this journal here. I've had it since forever. Okay, not forever, forever, but like I've had it since, 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 since. And I've written the facts about me, 25 facts about me in it. Let's get right into the it. The first fact about me, fact number one. I feel like if you are like, we, like you're close to me, you know this, but like those of you who know me just from YouTube, you probably don't know. My YouTube name is Nanaya Budu. But that's like my name, but then that's not my full name. I have a middle name, and you probably know if you know, you know me, know me. My middle name is Benewa. Benewa, B E N E W A H. You probably know that. So if you know me, you already know that. So it won't be anything new to you. But if you don't know me personally, you wouldn't know this. I personally like to spell it B E N E W A A instead of. A H. I don't know why, but I just prefer it that way because it's like the name is Benewa. So like if you spell it with H, it's like Benewa. <laughs> because the H you can <sighs> Benewa. <laughs> oh my god. The second fact about me is that I was born on the 12th of May 2005. Yeah, so I'm 15. Most people don't believe when I say I'm 15. I don't know whether I look older or I look younger than my age. Tell me in the comments. Yeah, so this leads me to my next fact. Fact number three, which is my sign is Taurus. Um, Taurus. I don't know whether I said I'm a Taurus or I'm Taurus. I don't even know that I'm pronouncing it well, but it's Taurus. Is it Taurus or Taurus? Zodiac sign is Taurus. The fourth fact about me, fact number four, is um, I am five five, as in my height. I'm five foot five, so like I'm not short. I am a tall girl. Why the fuck you lying? Yes, I'm five five. Okay, guys. So the next fact about me is that I have brown eyes, and my hair is also brownish. I know it's hard to tell. Mm. Anytime I say my hair is okay, people actually have realized my hair is brown. Yeah, I used to dye, but now I don't dye. So like, this is the natural thing. I don't know. Okay, there's the sun is here, so yeah. You guys see the very dark shade of brown, but it's still brown. And then my eyes aren't like black. My eyes are brown. They are dark brown. See, the light is supposed to be here. But then the sun decided to be here today so you can get a picture where i'm actually in the sun and you actually see the brown but yeah if i do i'll put it here if not then sorry guys okay guys so the fifth fact about me is that i am fully Ghanaian. i'm an ashanti my mom is ashanti my dad is ashanti i'm from just i'm fully Ghanaian. i'm ashanti guys so the sixth fact about me is that i love singing i love singing singing is 
yeah and i actually have songs that i've actually recorded down produced and released you know i'm not quite sure where this whole music thing is going i don't know whether i want to do it like i don't know whether i want to be out there yet so i'm still deciding and shit but yeah i'll put all the songs that i have i'll put the links in the description so you guys should go through the description i'll put it clearly there my music and then the links will be there pa, 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 pa. so you can check them out for your girl yeah okay guys so this leads me to my seventh fact i play the guitar yeah i actually have two guitars i have one electric and one acoustic electric i don't know that you guys get it but yeah i play the guitar should i play for you guys like right now i don't know maybe okay guys so this is one of my guitars this is the acoustic one um i'm feeling lazy to go and carry the electric one it's just a lot of stress yes, so i'm probably going to play for you but then maybe to waste time Tell me in the comment section whether you want me to do a video about something with my guitar or something. If you guys want that, I'm going to do it. The ninth fact about me, the ninth fact about me is that I have two sisters. I am the middle child. Yes, we are three. I have an older sister and a younger sister. I'm in the middle. I'm the middle sister. Um, I did a video with my sisters, so you can click on my profile. I did a sister tag if you want to meet them Yeah, it, it was so interesting and I really think you should the check it out. The fact about me is that I'm an introvert at the same time I'm an extrovert. I don't know that you get me. I can be introverted when I want to I don't know whether I'm using the right word or if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section But I can be introverted and I can be extroverted it depends on the person i'm talking to i can be an introvert and i can also be an extrovert it depends on the situation it depends on my mood it depends on the person um depend on the people i'm around it actually it actually varies like i'm outgoing when i want to be and i am closed up when i want to be you know what i mean i hope you guys get me because the yeah. 11th fact about me it's, okay, so type, the type of guys I like. Okay, so honestly, how should I say this? I can't judge someone just by looking at the person. And for example, let me let me give an example because I really don't know how to explain this. I can meet someone, uh, a guy, and then the person like won't be nice for me. Won't be nice for me. But then after I get to know the person a little, all of a sudden the person becomes nice in my eye, right? Because I've gotten to know your character and I've gotten to know inside you. Like, I don't know whether you guys know this, but I don't believe in love at first sight. I feel like that should have been another fact. Anyway, let's just add it. I don't believe in love at first sight. And though you can see someone and be like, the person is nice, I never build that attraction for someone at first sight. I just don't do that it's just not me so even if you're like nice and i get to know that you act very you you're your niceness will even vanish from my eye i don't care whether a boy is light skinned dark skinned tall short i don't look at stuff like that i look into the person i know it's, it's hard to explain i hope you guys get me because you can be nice for me when i see you but after i talk to you for some time i'm like bro this person the niceness just vanishes like you have to be a gentleman <laughs> and you have to have morals and stuff like that so i hope you guys get me so like you don't have to be like a particular distance because i'm flawed and no one is perfect so i'm i must i mostly yeah i mostly judge from what's within so there's no like a particular there's not like a particular type of group of guys that i like you know what i mean Yes. Yeah, I said the twelfth fact about me is that I am terrible. Terrible at approaching people. Like you could be someone I know, like I know maybe be our friends, but then like maybe you, I've seen you, you are here, I'm here. Walking towards you to come and talk. Like it's just an awkward situation for me. 
but I know how to carry conversations. If maybe we know each other, maybe we haven't even spoken in a long time, I feel like I'm good at carrying the conversation, keeping the conversation going. I try my best to avoid that awkward silence, you know what I mean? But then I'm really bad at approaching. I don't know. I know that you guys get me, but yeah. The 13th fact about me is that I speak two languages. I speak English, I speak three. I started learning German a bit. I started learning German a bit, but I just stopped. My dad was helping me with that because my dad speaks like a lot of languages. So like he was helping me with that. So I know small, small, but then I'm not fluent or anything. Uh, I know JHS French. I know JHS French. We are managing the JHS French. You know what I mean? Yeah. The 14th fact about me. It's something that I feel like you guys should have noticed by now. I have a scar on my face. So I'm going to show my face like for like 10 seconds. So you guys to see whether you can locate the scar. After I'll show it to you guys. Like it's not it's kinda huge. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay guys, so yeah, I have a scar on my face. It's here. I don't know if you guys can see. I feel like because of the lightning, it's really hard to see. But I have a scar here. Most people don't notice it. Probably because it kind of blends with my skin tone. I hope you guys see it though. That side is kind of dark. But it's like all here. It's all here. But then I think it has it has healed. And it has blended with my skin so like you really see it near my eyelid i know that you guys can see but yeah i don't know but i do have a scar there and most people don't notice it thank god because it kind of blends with my skin and i'm happy about that but yeah i have a scar well what is this called the, the tip of the eye or <laughs> my eye my my what my right eye corner <laughs> <laughs> 15th yes yeah, so the 15th fact about me is that i appear tougher on the outside than i actually am i portray myself as tougher than i actually am not intentionally that's just who i am i'm not the type of person to be acting vulnerable in front of people you know what i mean but then if i act vulnerable in front of you it, then the bond the bond is we are bonded, bond, bond, bonded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Number 16 is that I give amazing advice and I'm not even going to lie right now. I'm not like bragging or anything, but I do give really good advice and people who are that close to me can attest to that fact. People who I have given advice can attest to that fact. And at a point I was considering going to, like becoming a therapist because I don't know or a, those or a counselor but like not as a full-time thing but maybe doing some counseling stuff you know but i'm not sure so we'll see how that goes see how so that the goes. 17th fact about me is that i am beyond scared of planes as in airplanes not being in an airplane but walking in an airplane is coming if you don't know my house in, so I live somewhere else now click on my profile the story time is there you go watch it so where I live now you don't really see the plane so about where I was living before it's close to the airport the airport so like you literally see the plane in its full size coming like it's huge and it's like when you see it's like in the sky like like that it doesn't seem scary but then then the noise and the sound like i'm beyond scared like my heart i my it's like my heart should just drop i'm beyond scared of things i'm scared of this the 18th fact about me is that i am christian by birth i was born into a christian family so i'm yeah, so christian the 19th fact about me is that i 
feel i i can't i can't be in enclosed spaces i can't be in a crowded place i literally feel like i'm suffocated i start feeling dizzy i feel like i'm suffocated i've never actually collapsed for that particular reason before because i actually try my best to avoid such situations being in enclosed spaces. fact number 21 is that um i don't know how to say this i take decisions really quickly i'm like really decisive like sometimes i get torn in a situation where i don't know whether to, to do this and do that but then it's quite easy for me to choose what to do you know but then it's not always the right decision sometimes i make the wrong decision i act based on how i feel at that particular point based on emotions and it gets to a point that like you're like bruv should i have done this should i have not done this but then it's done it is what it is so yeah i i am quick to make decisions like i make decisions quite Facts number 22 i'm a feminist i'm a feminist um those of you who have been sick with me you already know this i have a video my unpopular opinions just check it out i clearly state everything i'm not even going to talk plenty now because if you've watched the video you know ben and i are stands if you haven't watched it please go and watch it because you are missing out on a lot 23 is that i do not like being told what to do if I come, it's not about, I like being advised, I like like hearing people's advice from a point of view, but like in a situation where maybe someone tells me that, oh, when you're done, maybe see this place, and I go like, okay, and I'm still doing what I'm doing, and you're like, I'm going to see the place. I don't know, I don't like it, it irritates me. If I know it's my responsibility and it's my duty, I'll do it without complaining, and even if I feel like you are commanding me. I'll do it without complaining. That's just the kind of person I am. But I don't like being told what to do with me like that. I don't like it. You can't come and be telling me what to do. But I don't. You know what I mean? So the twenty fourth fact about me, fact number twenty four, is that I hate violence. Like I really can't. I hate viol. I, I hate violence. I hate violence. People. When I see people going through pain, it really. I can't stand violence i just so the 25th fact about me that's my last fact so the 25th fact about me is that i have major 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 insecurities like don't get me wrong i know i'm pretty i love myself sometimes i get really insecure and sometimes i'm not sometimes i feel like bruh you don't need anyone to tell you you're beautiful but you're beautiful and then other times I feel like like I don't I feel like it's something that every girl goes through. Like but like sometimes I get insecure, sometimes I don't sometimes I'm not sometimes I'm really really insecure. It actually depends on how I feel and what I'm going through, um the point in my life that i'm okay, guys so this brings me to the end of my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you like this video tell me what you like about the video in the comment section check out my instagram so you can be updated about my post when i'm going to post i i put everything there so you can just so that you can keep track with my post notification bell so you don't miss any of my content share 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 and i always forget to say this Thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, we have 300 plus subscribers. I didn't think I would get there so soon. And I'm so grateful. See you guys on my next video. Until my next video. Bye guys.